This lesson we're going to be looking at inserting and in some of the wonderful things that we can insert within the Google Doc, such as different charts. We can insert images, tables, horizontal rules, footnotes, blocks, watermarks, page headings, breaks, bookmarks, and a whole lot more. So we're going to be covering how you can insert into your Google Doc. So you can add items into your doc. So we already saw that we could insert an image and there's different items that you can add. So if you do need a table, you can insert a table and these items will get inserted at the point where you have your cursor. And then once it's inserted, you can select it where you can pin it, you can insert a row below. And then there's also table options as well for the selection of the table content. And then within the table, you can add in the cells and content as needed. Under the insert, there's the drawing. So you can create a new drawing, and we've already seen that before. For chart, so this is a quick way to create a chart. The charts are gonna be based on sheet data. So creating a chart will automatically generate a sheet that's gonna hold that chart information. And this is just generally edited information. So if you wanna edit and update the chart, then you can open up the sheet that it's connected to and open the source object, which is gonna be data that's sitting within the sheet. And then if you update the sheet data, it's gonna update the chart information. So it's giving you a quick visual of the new chart information. And then you go back to the chart and you can select the update and that's gonna update the chart within the doc with whatever the current new information is. So you can select the link chart options so you can unlink it and unlinking it is going to remove it from the Google Sheet. So if we make any updates to the sheet, it's no longer going to be linked within the sheet content. So there's no more update option within the doc. And now this is going to be similar to what we have with an image where you can update and you could move it and you can select the item and it's going to now be treated as an image. So you've got all the image options uh, just as we did before when we saw when we're working with images. So when you unlink the chart, it's no longer going to be connected to the Google Sheet. If you do need to make updates to it, then I do suggest that you keep it linked. So there's also a horizontal line. So it just adds a line within the document, wherever your location is. There's date, so that adds in the current date. You can add in footnotes at any time within the document. So it gives the footnote indicator, and then the footnote content can be added here below. So we have our footnote on the content and then down below at the bottom of the page, this is where the footnotes are gonna sit. And then to remove that, if you remove out the footnote, it's gonna remove out the footnote at the bottom of the page as well. The building blocks. So if you have meeting notes, you can set this up and you can add meeting notes from different calendar entries that you have. There's also the special characters. So if there are characters that you want to include, but you don't have the character, then you can select it from the special characters. There's also a way to draw the symbol. So if there's a character that you are looking for, then you can draw it within the drawing area, and this will provide you some suggestions for the various characters that you might want to insert. And once you've finished with the special characters, there's the characters inserted on the page. Uh, if you want to make them larger, they're going to work in line with the font size. There's equations as well that you could add in. So equations, and if you are writing equation, it's gonna give you the Greek letters and other menu options so that you can write the equation directly within the Google Doc. Selecting, inserting a watermark will allow you to add an image. So selecting the image that you wanna use, and this can come from the drive. And now the watermark has been added to the back of the document. We can change the scale of it, so making it smaller or bigger. And you can also add in text across the back and hit done. And that's going to add in the text as the watermark in the back. There's the page numbers and headers and footers, which we've already looked at. There's different breaks that we can add in, such as a page break and section breaks. So what this does is this will bring it to a new page. So for instance, if we want to start a new page before this heading one, we could insert the page break here, and that's gonna move the content down to a new page. So we're not providing any spacing, that it's gonna be providing it exactly at the place where we had the cursor. There's also an option for linking, and linking, once again, allows us to link content. So we can create a text link, and then that can link it to a document, 
And if we go down to the bottom, there's the different headings. So linking that to a heading, I think if we click it, it's going to bring us up to the heading itself. You can also insert different comments, a bookmark, which we've already looked at, and then the table of contents as well. For the comments, this is great for collaboration. It's going to show a comment on the right hand side and then just add in the comment. And similar to what we had with the editing suggestions, these can be marked as resolved. They can be edited, they can be deleted, or we can link to the comment. If you want to see the comments that are within the document, there's an open comment history at the top right hand side. And this will open up all of the comments that we have within the document so far. There's also the alerts, so the email notifications for comments. So you can adjust that here within the comments window. And there's also the ability to add new comments. And this is going to be added in wherever the cursor is. And comments are useful when you are collaborating on documents or to make notes within a document.